Does anyone have a question? Stuart, I, I have a question. Sometimes during the meditation, I'll feel what I can only describe as a very intense feeling of antsiness, as almost if my body wants to get up and jump or run or move. And it'll kind of come out of nowhere. I'll feel very relaxed and at, at peace and feel in a flow. And then all of a sudden, it's almost sometimes it's almost painful um antsiness comes over and i'm just curious on your thoughts on that uh look you know there's always a part of every one of us that wants to defeat ourselves there's that part of us that wants inner peace that can relish inner peace when it comes that can be quiet inside and there is that part of us that wants to defeat ourselves, that antsiness, that restlessness, that thing inside us that, you know, can't accept the fact that we can be happy people and we have to start beating ourselves up. It's a battle of dragons, you know, and it depends upon who wins the battle. If you truly want a spiritual life, then you have the resourcefulness inside to transform antsiness into chi into an open heart into a quiet mind it takes training you have to learn how to do it i would be surprised if you didn't have antsiness inside you and not only you gustin but everyone here we all have something inside us that is determined to defeat our happiness <laughs> that's determined to defeat that openness inside that peace of mind, that quiet, that connection with spirit. And, you know, and then it's a battle. It's absolutely a struggle to be able to build a system that is strong enough to transform that negativity into a spiritual life. So I'm not surprised that you ask that because it's not only you, it's everybody has that. I have that. You know, I had, you know, when I was first involved in doing this meditation when i first sat down to do it especially on my own it was hard for me to sit five minutes because that that antsiness as you call it began to take over and i was so used to letting it take over when i was younger and i didn't have the tools yet to be able to transform it into a deep and profound inner life those came later as I continue to work on myself. So it doesn't surprise me that you ask a question like that because what you described exists in everybody, that part of each and every one of us that wants to defeat the process, that can't accept the fact that we as human beings can live quietly. We don't have to be <laughs> with an erotic mind, with emotions that cripple us, with you know sexual energy that cripples us. We can be quiet inside. We can be calm inside. You know, we can have a deep inner peace about our lives. And once we get over that habit of defeating ourselves, you know, that peace sustains itself for a much longer time. So I'm not surprised that you have a question like that. And I'm not surprised if anyone would have a question like that. Because, you know, antsiness is a, a manifestation of lack of discipline, lack of training, lacking of knowing how to transform it into an open heart, into chi, into, which comes in time as we work on ourselves, we begin to learn how to do all these things. And antsiness is not negativity. 
You know, it really isn't. It's just saying, hey, you got to work on yourself. <laughs> it's it's a messenger from God telling you, you got to work on yourself. And frankly, we all need those messages because otherwise we just take ourselves for granted. We become a bunch of cows chewing grass in a pasture if we didn't have a bit of antsiness in us. That disturbance, you know, oh shit, I, you know, where, where did that come from? I better do something about it. Important. It's really important to have stuff like that. It's one of the ingredients in the spiritual soup. Antsiness. You know, you arrive at a place in your growth where nothing is negative. Everything is positive. Because whatever it is you experience or whatever it is you go through, it teaches you what you have to do to continue to grow. So it's no longer a negative thing. It's a teacher. Understand, it's like kids that misbehave and the teacher or the parents have to yell at them. They're not doing a negative thing. They're like, hey, get your shit together. You know? <laughs> it's just reminding you that you have to do, that you have to really get that discipline and the inner work and learn how to master yourself and to master the internal chaos. And as you grow in life, nothing becomes negative. It's really amazing when you see the world that way. It's just teaching you. And if you get upset at something, it's a teacher. Find out inside yourself what attaches you to that thing that makes you so upset. You know, generally, it's insecurity inside. You know, we have this insecurity in ourselves, and there's a reminder of it, and we get upset. So we're not really upset at the outer world, we're upset at ourselves. Because once you develop that security, you don't get upset no matter what anyone says. You can deal with it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Does anyone else have a question? I have a question, Stuart. That's Do you great. think that we've all known each other before? I don't think about that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I know all you now. And, you know, what happened before, who cares? What happened, you know, two lifetimes ago, 10 years ago, it's all in the past. What matters is that this moment, we are all here contributing energy, contributing openness, contributing a need to be with God, to have a spiritual life. That is nurturing everyone that attends the class. That to me is important. Yeah. And whether I, yeah, I knew you in four lifetimes ago, and you know, who cares? <laughs> I don't care, you know, it doesn't matter to me. But your presence here, is sacred. Your presence here is sacred. And it's kind of like a family of man, you know, that yeah. comes together to provide energy so that all of us can grow. I mean, if I was doing this with an empty screen, you know, where would it take me? But having everybody here working on themselves Every person's need, every person's desire to grow spiritually nurtures everybody else that's in this class. That's why every single person is important and important for my spiritual growth, you know? So whether I knew you all 18 lifetimes ago, it absolutely has no significance in my life. I really mean it. I mean, how many thousands of people I've known, even in this lifetime? I mean, what? You know? Yeah. It certainly feels like a family. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, uh, there'll be no class on Sunday. 
because we're having a retreat this weekend. And the next class will be next Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. God bless you. One other thing. I'm still getting emails from people that they don't get this, you know, the email I send out, you know, for the retreat, you know, for this class. Uh, if you have that situation, first thing to do is just check your spam. Somebody today sent me an email. I said, check your spam. He checked it, and there it was. Because I, it's a mass mailing. You understand? I'm not sending out emails to each person personally it comes to a mass mailing service so sometimes it goes to spam if it's not in spam and you're not getting it i suggest what i suggest is that you create another email address and send it to me and i'll put it in the mailing list and you will almost most likely start getting the invitations so, you know, I, I mean, I'm still getting emails from people. I didn't get the email. I did, is there a class tonight that we're having, you know? And that's the reason. It goes to spam or, I don't know, sometimes people get unsubscribed. So I don't know how it happens. They get, there's a thing called cleaned. Sounds very dangerous to me, this thing called cleaned, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and, and when people's names are that way, I, you know, then... I can't contact them through that mailing service. So I need another email. If you give me another email, I, you you will get you know, invitations to the class. Okay, thank you. God bless you all. And I, I, you know, this is so important. This being together, opening, bringing one's need to have a spiritual life. It's very important, and it really contributes not only to me and each and every one of you, but for everybody that's sitting here and doing this work. So thank you, and bless you all, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.